Oh, hello! It's my 100th video, and today we're going to be reviewing my new camera. Because up till now, I've been I've been recording with my Motorola Zoom, and as you can tell, it's it doesn't look too good. That's what you're seeing through right now. I I, I have to add lenses and manually adjust the focus with uh, corrective eyewear <laughs> lenses, and so it, it it's a hassle. Not counting there's no tripod mount. So I spent 140 dollars or 130, can't remember, and I got this. It's a Samsung WB100. It's 16.2 megapixels. It has a 26 times zoom, or it goes uh, from 4 to 104 millimeter, uh, in and out. It has, uh, it, it can record it in 720p video, because I don't really need a 1080p, because my uh, the software I have can't render in 1080p anyway, so that's kind of, I don't necessarily need that. It runs off of four AA batteries. Fortunately, I have like 10 year old batteries in there, but whatever. Hopefully, they don't blow up. And it takes a SD card. Let's turn it on. Power's right here. So, let's set it to uh, smart, which is basically automatic. That's for pictures, and let's take a picture. Let's take a picture of Bulbasaur, shall we? Of Bulbasaur. Had uh, that thing since two thousand uh, since nineteen ninety eight. Might have to mess with the uh, ISO and stuff like that. But anyway, I really like how the zoom in pretty far. But the other feature I think it has, at least it says so on eBay, was that uh you could change the shutter speed. You could go, you could go from I think a thirtieth of a second all the way up to sixteen seconds, and it has an ISO up to thirty-two hundred. So what that means is I can use this on a telescope someday, so I can take really long exposures to get really good images. Well, not really good, but as good as I've ever gotten. Well, after messing with it, I discovered it does not have the sixteen-second exposure time. It really pisses me off, especially since the online reference. And the the uh, well a lot of the online references the uh, the seller listing and the user manual say it has an adjustable up to uh, 16 second exposure time, but no it's it's only automatic up to one second. Pisses me off. I mean it's it's a, it is a WB100. What gives? So here we are, and. Wow, this is so awesome! I have so much control over it. Because, bef I mean, because before my tablet, it was kind of wobbly, and I couldn't look up because the tablet would face. I would set it against something, and so if I were to try to set it up, I would have to set it up this way, and that would touch the screen. So I could never look up. With this, I can look up and up and up. Well, you guys don't want to see the roof. Sorry, kind of a crappy roof. But anyway, let's mess around with this. This is awesome. I've, I've wanted to do this for so long. Now, I do notice an, uh, an issue, or not really an issue, but whenever the camera comes, uh, like it, uh, whenever the camera comes, its default setting is to not record audio whenever you're moving the camera in or out. I mean, zooming in or out. So, I imagine. I mean, I hope they save my settings while I have the batteries out, because that would be kind of tedious, because I, I imagine I would most likely um, take the batteries out, put them back in, and then think that it would be recording audio while I zoomed, and then, all, and then I went through the trouble of recording something, and it cuts out the audio. <laughs> That'd be difficult. But the zoom is pretty nice. Let's go out a bit. Let's go to maximum. Well, uh, maximum that allows for an adequate focus. I mean, it takes a bit for it to focus. It's odd. So, I say we take this 
Samsung WB100 outside and test it out because it's going to be awesome. Because even though I do have somewhat adequate, adequate lighting in here, it is a bit dark for the camera out. But outside, it should, it should be a lot less grainy and stuff. That'll be awesome. Let's go. It handles low light pretty good. A lot better than my, uh, my tablet does. Hell, this camera can see in here better than I can. And it seems to be really smooth too. It has, uh, I think it said it has double um, image stabilization. I don't know. Looks pretty smooth to me though. Let's get you on the tripod, shall we? Let's zoom in a bit. I wish the zoom was a bit faster, but I guess even at this rate, at, at this pace, the, the focus controls can't catch up, so... Oh well. That's at the full 26 times zoom. Let's get up somewhere a little higher so we can see better, okay? Wow, this is a nicer view. I wonder if we can see the stop sign way over there. Barely. I like the depth of field effect on those leaves. It looks really nice. Let's zoom in on the radio tower. Wow, I love this. And now for the final test. I have a piece of steel in my hand, so that's adding more mass to make the camera a little steadier. And I have some plastic golf balls. And I'll put them around on the ground. I actually had to, I actually had to mow the lawn because <laughs> uh, it didn't work the first time. But this is, I'm going to test 3D motion tracking. Basically I can determine where the ground is, then I can superimpose and render a three-dimensional model onto it. So what you think? So in the end, I'm pretty happy with the camera. I'm not happy that they got the data mixed up and, and I thought I was gonna be able to use it for, for astronomy also. I mean, I believe it'll work okay for like shooting pictures of the moon. I have an idea for a couple videos for that. But for like taking pictures of Jupiter and Saturn and stuff like that, it's not gonna work too well. So, I mean, that's okay because it's gonna work pretty good for recording videos for my YouTube channel because it's gonna be a lot easier doing that than lugging around a, a tablet. And also I can zoom, because my Motorola Zoom couldn't zoom. How ironic. And also it couldn't focus. That, that, that really, really irritates me how the, it, it wouldn't focus for some reason. But if I do want a camera for, for my astronomy, I'll just probably get a different camera. Because I come across cameras a lot at yard sales, like my, my Mavicas. Well, that's, that, that one's from 1997. But something more like this from 2002. This, this would probably be better quality. Actually, I think, I think it does have a 16 second exposure time. I just gotta figure it out. There's too many doohickeys and things on that. It takes a, a, a propri proprietary uh, power plug for it and I don't want to fry it, you know. But in the end, I am pretty happy because, to be honest, this $130 camera is really cheap and 
another odd thing, the audio. Whenever I was editing what I've already recorded of the video, um, it surprised me because the audio on my voice sounds exactly like it sounds in my head. I always heard that's not uh, that's not supposed to happen because the sound waves travel through your jaw or through your skull. Uh, skull. Uh, but the when I hear myself in the footage, it's like mm, that's me. That sounds like exactly that. That sounds like I'm talking. Um, maybe it's just because I'm used to crap microphones. But oh well. Well anyway, I really like my I really like my Samsung WB100. So. If you're, ever, if you're ever looking for a cheap camera, I'd recommend it. Well, see ya. Oh, hello, it's my 100th video. And today, we're gonna be reviewing my new camera. Because up till now, I've been I've been recording with my Motorola Zoom, and as you can tell, it's it doesn't look too good. That's what you're seeing through right now. I, I, I have to add lenses and manually adjust the focus with uh, corrective eyewear <laughs> lenses. And so it, 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 it's a hassle. Not counting there's no tripod mount. So I spent $140, or 130 can't remember. And I got this. It's a Samsung WB100. It's 16.2 megapixels. It has a 26 times zoom, or it goes uh, from 4 to 104 millimeter, uh, in and out. It has, uh, it, it can record it in 720p video, because I don't really need a 1080p, because my, uh, the software I have can't render in 1080p anyway, so that's kind of, I don't necessarily need that. It runs off of four AA batteries. Fortunately, I have like 10-year-old batteries in there, but whatever. Hopefully they don't blow up. And it takes a SD card, 